Hey Wicked Army, Wicked here and welcome to another Clash of Clans episode and today we're going to do something that we probably won't be able to do ever again and that is Town Hall Sniping and while I'm doing that I'm going to be talking a bit of the Town Hall 11 update, what's coming out in its entirety or most of the uh, updates that are coming out in one video. So before I go ahead with that though, let's go announce the, the question time winners from last episode and the first place uh, winner is Uriel Tangy, second place was Renato Heslop, third place was Joe Gonzalez and the wildcard winner was Philip Bernardo answering what was their favorite thing that's coming out in the 1011 update so stay tuned for the question time question at the end of this episode so it's going to be a bit of a long one but um, you can obviously skip, to, uh, skip as much as you want uh, while I rant so let's go find um, a base to town or snipe and what I'm going to be using is just some random army We've got some um, giants wizards archers and some wall breakers and I'm pretty much going to be using my low ass heroes uh, to snipe the town hall anyway because it's free to regen um, and attack straight away so what we're going to do is uh, keep finding town hall um, to snipe this is a oh, here's one. I kind of like to do a test town hall snipe just in case there's kind of like a Tesla um, hidden there somewhere. Those jerks that do that. I hate people that do that. Trick me into thinking it's a town hall snipe. So that's my first town hall snipe. One of my first and one of my last, unfortunately. Um, so let's keep town hall sniping. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the town hall does not give a shield no more. If you put it outside like this right now. Um, that is why I'm tunnel sniping because it's kind of like a town uh, time capsule for me as a clasher uh, to reflect back on the days when I can tunnel snipe and this is a video that I can look back to uh, to, to see that evidence that I could do it so um, just a bit of a time capsule video for me guys and I hope you guys join me in tunnel sniping while you listen to this episode so uh, there's no more tunnel sniping and also with the town hall it acts like a storage as well so a, a percentage of your loot will be distributed to your town hall and that's why Supercell really wants you to have your town hall in the inside so not only that there's no more town hall sniping um, you, can, you can't um, you can't just put your town hall to to count towards all the structures on the outside uh, for that 30% shield so they really want you in the town, your town hall on the inside, so people are encouraged to attack with proper armies, and pretty much learn to attack uh, with better armies other than Barch and BAGs. So um, that's one of the updates coming out. So Village Guard, as I said, uh, is a bit of protection when you accidentally uh, leave your game and um, to the bathroom or something like that. Gives you that added protection. Uh, to give you time to come back so your account is active um, it acts like um, an active an account um, especially if your shield expires it gives you that little more, bit more time to log on and um, protect your base from getting attacked for, by being active so a little bit of protection for us guys and, it, and the uh, village guard time increases the higher lead you are so I don't know if this is town or stuff oh, it's very risky so I'm not going to do it um, anyway, so that's that's that. Then there's a shortened personal break from six hours uh, to th three hours, and they've also reduced the gem boost time at, on an hourly rate for five gems. So that makes sense to align with the personal break time of three hours. Otherwise, you're going to be missing an hour. Uh, you're going to be wasting an hour um, if you if you're gemming three hours for three hours and the gem boost lasts for um, I think four hours you're gonna miss you're gonna miss one hour out of nowhere so let's double check that actually can you so what can we currently do now so if we gem the barracks uh, sorry the barracks so if we gem the barracks it is currently on two hours for, uh, so two hours for 10, 10 gems so it's now it's going to be 
reduce to five gems and one hour boost to align with that um, three hour personal break time. Um, also, Loot League offers, uh, there'll be more loot offered um, because town halls will be more in the inside and um, there'll be more league bonuses and trophy offers for high league players. So there's no more one, one trophy offers up for grabs. Um, this is good for the higher league players because um, they, they attack for one trophy and they'll get like um, attacked by another player um, defensively for maybe 20, 30 trophies. So that's a huge loss to them with so little gains. And this will, uh, Supercell is trying to make it more fairer for people up in the higher leagues. Um, so that's that's good for them. There's now there's the Eagle Artillery coming out, and I predicted this when I first when I first saw the uh, new defense. I was like, oh, that's an Eagle Artillery, and I was like, little did I know I leaked the name of that defense to myself. So it's like, go me. Anyway, and after that, there's going to be level nine Wiz Towers. I'm still looking for Town Hall snipes here. There's not many. A lot of people have started to put the tunnels on the inside. Um, so level uh, 9 Wiz Towers for Town Hall 11, so more damage for them, and not only that, they'll get an extra Wiz Tower, Archer Tower, Cannon, and an Expo at Town Hall 11, so this is quite daunting stuff when you're attacking at Town Hall 11, but luckily enough, they, re um, they uh, made the new hero, the Grand Warden, which looks like Donald Trump in a mage suit with a book but uh, it's still got pretty awesome stuff. So not only is the Grand Warden uh, a defensive tower on the defense side, but the offensive abilities are awesome with that life aura and the eternal tomb making uh, troops in the life aura radius invincible and healable for at least five seconds. So I can see hogs pretty much getting used in Town Hall 11 and that's why I was hoping there's going to be level 6 hogs coming out but it didn't come out in the sneak peeks. Maybe they'll just add level 6 hogs on the sly when the uh, update comes out. Never know, that's just my prediction but there really should be level 6 hogs uh, to to pretty much counter the uh, um, Town Hall 11 defenses a little bit. So that's just my predictions anyway. And there's going to be level 7 minions, which I think is the most useless uh, update sneak peek I've seen. Um, level 7 minions, minions in general, I find they're only good for farming and also getting that 2 star percentage on the outside when you've only got the town hall percent star. So um, they're good it to knock out some structures, especially if there's only ground defenses around. Uh, to snipe some structures for that 2 star 50% so uh, minions not really excited about them they still get damage heaps by splash damage like the uh, whiz towers so good for farmers but not good for clan war um, enthusiasts unless I've seen a lot of town hall 11 um, replays of in the sneak peeks using drag minions and they seem to do a solid two star to a town 11 base as an attack strategy so maybe maybe minions are coming coming back uh, in in force in clan wars in the town hall 11 region so let's wait out for that the good thing that I found in the troops uh, level troops that are coming out is the level 3 witches with the gold trimmings they're pretty awesome they're gonna spawn out 10 skeletons now and they're gonna be awesome in town hall 11 and I really want to see how they go against the Eagle Artillery. Because um, that Eagle t Artillery is just dope, man. It's just... It looked o it looks OP. Uh, and it really does look pretty cool, actually. Is this a town hall It doesn't look like it. Um, anyway. Now you can spell... Do uh, you can do donate spells in clan castles. There's room for one uh, spell slot. So uh, that means there's only one room for a dark spell. So that kind of saves other clan members a bit of dark elixir um, especially if you're a clan member that has heaps, has heaps of dark elixir you may want to help um, other members that uh, lack in that kind of uh, loot especially like town or late they don't get that much dark elixir so that's pretty good guys I, I'm pretty excited about that um, now the village itself um, the village size is currently right now I'll go to my village 
is 40 by 40 tiles and now it's going to reach to 44 by 44 tiles which is around a 20% increase and if you've got stuff like this like the cauldron and um, last year's Christmas tree uh, on the rough grass on the edge that'll move along as well uh, in the town 11 update so you don't have to worry about them as long as they're touching this rough patch of grass um, on the outside but if you've got a Christmas tree here or something like that it'll probably get in the way when you build your town 11 bases so it's up to you if you want to keep it keep it there um, but we'll, we'll probably get in the way so that's that um, town all nines get a level one free spell now keep town all sniping it's really hard to do two things at once here um, town all sniping uh, sorry the town all nines get level one free spell to be honest level one free spell isn't that effective I just didn't didn't bother with uh, free spell till at least level three um, because it's just it just is not enough time to be that effective unless for town all nines if they're going for a two star if there's a multi inferno um, and the the two infernos are far apart where you can where you only have to attack one inferno at a time I can see it being beneficial for town all nines against multi infernos otherwise if it's a single target inferno just use a go we or something go we or something for a two star because the skeletons will take care of that inferno and distract it okay so that's good for the town all nines at least that's something town all nines I can look forward to um, this update seems to be more um, upper end heavy so upper, upper town hall uh, like uh, maxed out town hall 10 heavy so claim war preparation time is going to be uh, increased an extra 30 seconds so man remember all those two star 99 percent you got imagine if if the town 11 update came early and how many three stars you would have gotten um, by having that extra 30 seconds so um, that's amazing it's a really big shout out for clan war people and um, really encourages even more for people to do those two phase attacks with kill squads because the kill squads um, to accomplish what the kill squad is supposed to do sometimes takes a little bit of time especially if you're trying to knock out the clan castle at the same time so um, that's pretty good for the clan war enthusiast and next the, the last thing I want to mention I'm not gonna mention every nitty-gritty bit of the update because the video will be too long and I just got a town hall spot which is awesome um, town hall 11s are about uh, are able to hold 10 million uh, in gold and elixir inside the inside the storages and town hall so that's an increase of 2 million from 8 million to 10 million uh, for town hall 11 so hope you guys enjoy this I'm gonna do one more town hall snipe I'm gonna find this lucky person that will be my final and my final town hall snipe ever in clash of clans and who will it be let's see if we can find one here where where is it that 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 thing's on the side not really in the on the outside there um, I'm gonna do the uh, question time question as well um, stay tuned for that and it looks like it's warlike from the clan Artesh Sork and he's gonna be my final um, town hall snipe guys and my archie queen is gonna knock him out thank you warlike for, for being my last town hall snipe ever and the question time question is if you could rename the grand warden's name um, the new hero what would you call it let me know in the comments below qt colon and your answer and the three uh, winners and the wildcard winner will be announced in the next episode hope you guys enjoyed that last ever town hall snipe with me guys i hope you town hall sniped at the same time uh, to enjoy town hall sniping for the very last time smack that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and i'll see you guys next episode later guys